turned 72, February 16th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage Lodra can do to us. I'm not sure why we're attacking a, a destroyer. We should be attacking transports or capital ships. They're not as nimble. Destroyers and the little smaller like PGs and stuff. Well, I don't know. PGs aren't that nimble, I don't think. But destroyers are hard to hit with torpedoes. Come on. Get out of there. Four hits. See, why do we fire at that uh, heavy cruiser? Love to put a torpedo or four into a heavy cruiser. Not the stupid P PB again. Yeah, no, a different one. Alright, airstrikes coming up. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Poor troops. Caught out in the open with nowhere to hide. main body huh I wonder if we're referring to this right here nine Japanese ships near Malang well, let's go down there and look while we're holding this open so that'd be somewhere in here okay
morning. Is that it for the AM? Yep, that's it for the morning phase. That's it. All right, land attack. All right. We got about 60. He has about double REV here. So we will see what happens. He took it. Hello, my misguided friend. This is your number one enemy, Orphan Anne, from Radio Tokyo, with another blow to your morale and some music to console you. Today, the Imperial government announced that the ever-victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Palembang. Well, it was inevitable. But mid-February, huh? That's kind of late, I think. Of bombardments. That one hurt. Alright, yeah, we're gonna lose Silver Baja too. Force to zero, yep. Two surrendered, two retreated, one surrendered. They'll right. take Tegula. Sabu Sabu. Alright, that's it. We're going to expand some bases. Then we'll go into production. And then when that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, and then we'll do the after action. Alrighty, well, a big day in the war for Japan, not so much for us due to base captures, but let's go ahead and go over it anyways. Score-wise, Japan went up 235. We dropped 56. In the air, looks like we lost nothing. Japan lost one to Ops. Let's take a look and see what he lost. A Vow, that's good. I like when he loses naval air aircraft. Incoming air groups for us. Um, we get two air groups this next end of the day here, both at Cape Town. Then, then, then tomorrow we get another fighter group at Cape Town. Uh, we just got one last turn as, as well. So these are the ones that I moved over from the U.S., I believe. So that's them coming in soon. Let's see. Sunk ships. No ships were sunk last turn. So let's just go ahead and look at the availability. 22 days to the Hornet. Let's say we got AKs, a KV, more AKs, that's an anti-aircraft light cruiser, Atmo, Atmo, Abasa, Mubasa, and four days, a destroyer, tanker, a bunch of subs in San Diego, a handful of destroyers, 
four destroyers, a bunch of tankers. There's right there's the Hornet. There's the formidable. So 22 days we get the Hornet, 26 days we get the for, the formidable. Let's see how many aircraft? 33. So basically it's a light crew, light carrier. I don't care what they they call it a CV, but it really it's a CVL. I think the only real difference is the, is this the first one that has the armor deck? Yeah, 75 armor on on the deck. That's pretty good. Now let, let's look look at the Hornet. 30, 30, 37. Yeah. Definitely a double the ar armor that, that the US CVs have. CVs have. <clears throat> so let's go down. Let's see. Ship withdraw. What do we have coming up? I think this is the Queen Elizabeth. Yep. 61 days. And then the Aquitania in 95 days. And then the Columbo in 108. <clears throat> Oh, then the Indomitable. Wow. Yep. All right. Ground reinforcements. Three days to, let's see, an unrestricted anti-air, restricted uh, Indian battalion. We don't get nothing big for 10 days. Then we get a re completely restricted uh, infantry division, so that doesn't help us at all. That guy, that, probably, that guy probably comes in and then gets withdrawn. Yeah, withdrawn in two years. So we got nothing really militarily-wise of any real size. We get some Pioneer Battalions, an Engineering Battalion, Marine Defense Battalion. You can see on day 12. Day 12 looks like a pretty big day for us for units. More Air Headquarters. Artillery, AA, CD guns, more engineers. Oh, uh, wait, we get an Indian division in 12 days. That'll be good. We can definitely use more, more troops there. We get a couple Indian br brigades as well. Those aren't maxed out, are they? Nope, another 20 plus. All right, so we get a bunch, so we get some Indian troops and a bunch of engineers and such of everyone else. So that'll be useful. Let's go ahead and pull up Combat Reporter. We'll take a gander at our signal intel intelligence. All right, radio wise, Miliep, Chichijima. At Turnate, Nomia, Tunghua, Hikodate, Hikodate. Alright, yep, more stuff going to, say, second, fifth, two of 52. Yep, I already have that one. Malang, why would he be moving artillery to Malang? That's silly. And... Part of a division to Menando. Well, I'll make a note of that as well, because that just doesn't make any sense unless it's just en route somewhere else. Unless he's gonna make a play for Northern Australia. But if one division might be enough, but it won't be enough to hold it for, for long. Let's see. Eighth base force at Nomia. Let me write that one down as well. I wondered how he was building that that airfield up so fast. All right. He has multiple base units at Nomia. Lots of engineers. Go ahead and hop out of here. Go up. I'll pop up here to Northern City. I got most of these ships are on the way either. Well, I think they're all. Oh, nope. Looks like one ten, one convoy is on its way out. The other ones are coming in. That guy's on his way out. This guy's on his way in. There's a 25th Australian Brigade. 18th. Yep. This guy's coming in. What's he got on him? The 21st Australian. That guy's heading out. He's empty. And we're just jumping off the 7th. 
right there. These guys are all being railed south. I'm also moving supplies and fuel around, bringing that in. Hop on down here. I'm trying to decide down here whether I want to do a heavy defense in this area. You know, the southern India. Or if he's coming, he's going to probably come up here and land somewhere here. Along the northern coast of the Bay of, Bay of Bam, 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 Bengal. I also think he might be landing at uh, at, a, at a Ceylon. Would not surprise me. The uh, players like to take this. Um, I'm not really sure why. I mean, it is a nice nice spot. It does limit access to the to to the Bay of Bengal, but it's not like we're going to use a lot of navy ships up in this area if he if he's contesting it. Just because he'll have a lot, bunch of land bases, and he still he probably has six or seven centes of Nels and uh, and uh, Betty's. If they're all up here, that could do a lot of damage. But I'm just not sure how much I want to, how how much I want to defend it. Remind me. I need to get a picket line out here. I think it's somewhere around here. Just so I have a turn or two notice before he would show up. I'll probably lose whatever's there. I can't I don't really feel justified using um, fishing boats, you know, a, you know, AKLs like like I always do as Japan off off the coast. Japan actually did that in in, in historic. They sent fishing boats out there. One, to fish, and two, to act as an early warning. I'm just not sure if the Allies would do that. So I'll need to find some small, like, PGs or some mine sweep, mine uh, ASW units, or maybe even a couple old old uh, destroyers to play that role. So not much going on in Burma. We are still retreating. He is sitting here. He is not attacking. Because I think he's still afraid that I have the, the first Burma here. But first, Burma's up, up in this hex, heading up to uh, Cox's ba Bazaar. So I'm not sure if I want to hold here or, or Chittagong. I, I'm leaning towards Chittagong because there's a rail and road access. But I might try to hold both, but concentrate on. I need to concentrate on one, so I need to see what forces I have available. What I don't want to do is put a lot of forces here then have him land behind me and then race up and seal him off. It's because he lands a bunch of tanks like here on these roads. I mean, he could be, you know, it's one hex a day for a tank. So one, two, three, four, five, he's here. Within a week, he could have the rail almost completely sealed. But it's always this way. I'm just not sure how fast we can evacuate. See, if I do too much down down here in Cox's Bazaar, there's no way they can get up onto the rail in time to, to get out without a lot of luck. I'm also trying to decide where I want to deploy forces behind the line. I don't want to put all my men, you know, at Calcutta or down here. I want to keep some back here, keep them in on the rails in strategic mode so they can react to wherever he, he, he lands. I'm not saying they're going to rush up and attack, but if he lands somewhere, we can at least then have troops on the move you know, the, the day after he, he lands to start setting up, up, up defenses. It would not surprise me if all Vlodrick takes say, uh, goes for Ceylon and possibly an Indian landing or even a partial Oz landing. I don't know what else he would be putting down all those divisions in Nomiya for, if that's accurate. But if that's accurate, he has one, two, three, four divisions there. So that makes really no sense unless he plans on doing something with, with them. He could invade New, New Zealand, but as soon as he lands, I get reinforcements. Although I think a lot of those are off, off map. <clears throat> and he could go for the southeast part of Oz, like, you know, where where uh, Sydney is. But if he does that, I'm going to get reinforcements there, too. So I'm just not, I'm not sure he wants to give me, you know, 1944 battle units 
in in mid four forty two. So we'll have to wait and see. But okay, Malaya's gone. Sumatra he took Palembang last turn. My men retreated. They're, I'm gonna try to get head these guys north to try to evacuate possibly. Borneo, nothing's going on here. I fully expect once he takes a little bit more here, I fully expect him to come in and, and take all of all of, all of Bo Borneo. There's not much resistance left. And Java, he also took so 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 Urbaha. So he has this whole area. He got he got a lot of fuel and oil from from these two bases. Well, I don't know how much he got. I lost a bunch. So I don't know how much actually survived the attack. Because, you know, say there's a million barrels there or a million tons. He When he takes it, he may only get half of that. It's There's some kind of algorithm involved. You roll some dice and you get whatever. You know, you get, you get a percentage of what was there. Rarely do you get it all, but it's hard to say. Uh, Celibus still hasn't done much. He has Ternate and Ambon now. I, he'll, he'll be taking Boella next. Then he'll probably come in and take Sharong and finish up the M Malacca's here and all these little dot bases. Then he'll come in and grab these guys, I'm assuming. There's several bases here. One here, one here, one here. Then there's an actual base there. Then he'll start coming down here and grabbing all of this. No, the only real challenge for him might be Copang. Maybe, maybe maybe that's what that division going to Menando is going to be for. Come down and land land on on uh, on a on a Timor and take that. But I'm moving some units over up 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 to Darwin. Try to re rebuild some base force, larger units. Not much else is moving around in Oz. I probably really need to spend some time there and figure out because I don't necessarily need all these units on on the in in. In interior, there's no point. <clears throat> um, I have a bunch of ships heading up to Perth. Last of all, the all the Murchies here. The first convoy of fuel and supplies from the U.S. is arriving next turn. I'm not saying we got a ton here, but it's the first one. It's thirty-two thousand supply and thirty-seven thousand fuel. I'm getting a lot of messages every turn about how there's not enough fuel in Oz to run run the industries. And then behind him is another fifteen thousand tons of fuel, and then behind that and a bunch of bunch of aircraft. And then way over here is another convoy with the, just supplies. Uh, my big problem is now I don't have enough uh, tankers. Um, I'm, I'm pulling all the AKs I can. I'm going to start loading those up with fuel as well. Start sending them. They're just not very e efficient. By the time they get to Oz, I have to, re I have to re re refuel them. And I'm just not sure there's a net delivery of fuel doing that. Still trying to build up uh, Tahiti. We got more so your AD coming down. This guy's going up to Penryn Island to grab the last of that unit. I got uh, supplies here, base forces here. Not much is going on at Hawaii. We're still repairing ships between upgrades and battle damage. Yeah, that's. I'm still so upset that he on his midget subs out of what the four or five midget subs, two got hits and the one was huge. The California here is still repairing. We are, what is it, 72 days into the war and he's still repairing and he has 150 more to go. Lexington has a month. Tennessee has has a month, and Pennsylvania has eight days for their upgrades. On the coast over here, not a whole lot going on. I do have some some troops shipping out here. Units coming back. I've um, got um, some men here. Let me just try and make things now. Getting ships, and I have a bunch of men here at San Fran. I need to go through and figure out what I, what I can send off. 
and what I what I can buy out. I believe I might be able to. No, that's right. I can't reform this division, the twenty fifth, because I left some pieces behind. They're on the way here. So once that done, I can reform this this division, and then he's he's unrestricted, so I can move the the twenty fifth division out. But it's gonna be a little while before they get there. Is it this guy? Yep. Two there. I, when I shipped these regiments out, I left two little bits behind. I really hate it when it tells you you got a hundred percent, but then it doesn't load them all. Uh, Seattle's still feeding supplies up up north. We're bringing some more supplies to 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 Kodiak, and then we'll probably bring some more to to, Dut, to Dut, Dut, Dutch Harbor. I'm gonna start running subs out of here. As you can see, they're already in route. I'm gonna try to pick off some some resource convoys up up in the northern part of of the Sea of Japan, because he's running oil and resources out of Shiku, Shikuku. And resources and oil add, add a Sapporo as well. Because Sapporo starts with like a half a million tons of oil. So you, there's a lot to haul out of there. So they you have to run tankers from there as well. Otherwise the oil sits there and does you no good. Because there's no refineries up up, up there. And then over into to, uh, China. He is sitting at Lan Chao. With, I don't know if that's a... It might be an armor regiment. I'm not sure. We got 500 assault strength here of not, of all beat up y units. So Lanch and Lanchao is what? What is that? Desert rough. So it's not great terrain for my defense. But I still have a ton of units in this area, trying to flee. I got a couple some I got some here holding the door open, got some here holding the door open as as well for these other units to escape. We're in good terrain and he just doesn't have enough there to kick us out. Down in the south, he's chasing down my fleeing troops. I'm not sure what these these guys are fleeing to. Cause he has a blocker here. I think I'm gonna come up here and then maybe try to go right into Kui Lin, because I'm not sure what he has there. This guy came from there. There's two units, so he either it's empty or he can't have much left. So I need to look at that. He can't protect both both bases, or I mean, base and and the hex. So we'll have to see. Got these guys are all trying to flee. Down here, I got my guys from Wen Wen Chow. They still have a decent uh, uh, combat strength, but we're running low on supplies. I believe, are we attacking here? No, we're, we're bombarding here at, uh, at Amoy to see, see what he has. <clears throat> if it's weak, we might try to take this base. This is a, de a decent base. But then, we, then we'll, come in, we'll come up here and we'll just keep on heading and trying to get these men out. But that's pretty much what the turn was. If you enjoyed watching it, uh, Japan takes some important bases. They took Palembang, Sorbaha. Those are big, both big oil bases for him. Uh, go ahead and click on the like on the like button if you're following the cam campaign along, or my one against Helton, which I started back back up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe on that one if you haven't subscribed for this one. But until we get another turn, you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you later.